Hello, Victory Bodies Nation. So great to see you. Today, I'm doing a product review for the Chirp Wheels. These are so awesome. Saw them on Shark Tank, and um, I just had to get them for my upper and middle back. And what they did that's unique was they put a spine channel to protect the facets of your spine, while the more elevated part massages the muscles uh, around the spine. So it's brilliant in comparison, or actually in utilization with a foam roller, because as you can see, when you roll your middle and upper back, a foam roller goes across your shoulder blades. So the portion of your spine that's between your shoulder blades, the foam roller doesn't really, really get into those muscles. Not like it can do on the low back or other parts of the body. The chirp wheels really get into those middle and upper back muscles between the shoulder blades. And that's where I get pain from working on the computer is right underneath my right shoulder blade. And this chirp wheel really gets you into it. So what you do, you wanna, uh, you wanna get your spine in the channel and then brace your core. Now, once you've braced your core, you just bridge your hips up and then lay your head back into your hands. You wanna move slowly on a chirp wheel because they're not as stable as a foam roller. <sighs> and you wanna breathe, oh, as you roll. Oh. Once you get a little bit more into it, you can stretch your arms back. <sighs> You wanna make sure while you're rolling, you're not in a hyper extended shape in your lower back. So you need to squeeze your glutes, scoop those abs in, and tip that pelvis up just a bit so you don't hyper extend. You're not trying to drop, you don't wanna drop your hips down to the wheel. You wanna keep your hips low and in a neutral position. Oh. <sighs> Now, I, I've been playing between the different size wheels and I like them for different things. You know, the big wheel is great to be a little more up off the ground, like if you're in regular clothes. I like the little wheel also to roll the glutes and the hamstrings. I found that um, my foam roller that I like for my um, everyday general purpose roll is not firm enough to roll my glutes and hamstrings. And boy, you can put that spine channel right on your femur, the socket of your femur and your hip socket there, and just dig all in. I mean, it's fun to explore with this um, chirp wheel. It's, uh, you can put the wheel right up against your tailbone and uh, roll across your tailbone with your tailbone being in the spine channel, which your tailbone is the last portion, of, lowest portion of the spine anyway. Um, it's great for the calves and the hamstrings too. Um, very nice. Again, it's not as stable as a foam roller, but once you get the hang of it, I really like it for, um, for a lot of the things that we usually roll on with the foam roller. I don't think it's, it's not gonna replace the foam roller in my life, and my daily foam rolling. Um, that is just such a pleasure and joy, but it is going to uh, complement it with a better, um, a better chiropractic care on my middle back between the shoulder blades. It'll help you get your adjustment. Like the other, uh, after I rolled the first day, I was so tight in my middle back, I rolled it. Then I leaned back in my chair, my desk chair, and every vertebrae in my middle back adjusted. It was like, sent, poof, just like blew my mind. So highly recommend your chirp wheel, get them. Um, they're very awesome and uh, they're, they're a great compliment to your foam rolling experience. Okay guys, well, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Get that wheel, give yourself your self chiropractic care in that middle back, that thoracic spine. Adios.